Walk in. Looks like we got you this time, Shifty, red-handed. Got nothing on me, Copper, nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, then how do you explain this? Hey, that's my personal fund. Is it? Or is it the proceeds of crime? Crime? What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no crime. Then you don't know that Blingini's Jewelry Emporium on 39th Street was robbed last night. Robbed? Are you telling me that someone robbed Blingini's? As if you didn't know. I had no idea until this moment. Scout's honor. As if you were ever a scout. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't you dare impugn the honor of a scout. Once a scout, always a scout. Impugn? That sounds like the kind of word a thief would use. Your lack of education is not my problem. Listen, you reprobate. You're going down. We know you're guilty. You don't know nothing, Copper, and I don't know nothing about no robbery. Then how come we found you just two blocks away with $23 in your pocket? How can you explain that, huh? I was looking for an open grocery store. I wanted to buy some groceries. You think that story makes sense, do you? It's the honest truth, Copper. Yeah, yeah. You can think about your innocence in a jail cell for the night. <laughs>
I'm not sure I heard you correctly. Did you say... Innocent. Yeah, you have to assume that they're innocent. Now you've gone too far. One of them has got to be guilty, I tell you. And how do you know that, detective? Because I arrested them. I don't arrest innocent people. Calm down, detective. I didn't say they are innocent. I said let's assume for a minute that they're innocent. It's just a way to think about the problem. All right, I can do that. But you better not be turning into a bleeding heart social worker or anything. Not at all. Now, follow me here. Shifty had $23 in his pocket, right? Right. Now comes the hard part. Just for a minute, just for a minute, I want you to imagine that Shifty is innocent. It's okay because you can go back to thinking he's guilty in a minute. But just for a minute, I want you to imagine he's innocent. All right, Captain. It ain't comfortable or natural, but I'm imagining that Shifty is... is... innocent. Of this crime, mind you. This crime only. You're doing great. Now, keep imagining that, and now ask yourself, how likely is it that he would have $23 in his pocket? Okay, this is very weird. I guess it's kind of likely. A lot of people might have $23 in their pocket, more or less. Stellar policing, Tufkowski. Now give that likelihood a number. Remember, Shifty is innocent right now in this reality. What is the probability that an innocent person would have about $23 in their pocket? Give me a probability, like 50% or 10%. Wow, I guess only in this innocence fantasy, mind you. Uh, it's pretty high probability, maybe... 80 percent? Yeah, a lot of people would have $23 on them. I mean, I probably have 50 bucks in my pocket right now, and I ain't no thief. Yeah, hi, let's say 80 percent. That was good work, detective. You can go back to imagining Shifty is guilty now. Oh, thank Mother Mercy. That is very difficult. Now, Shifty's probability is 80%, about here. Oh, I get it. This whole board is innocent, Bill. This board is the imaginary world where Shifty is innocent. You got it. Now I need you to do the hard thing again. This time, with McFaloney. Come on, Captain. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Detective. You are a veteran of the Academy and these mean streets. I believe in you. All right, I'll do my best. I won't let you down. Okay, it ain't pretty. It hurts my head, but I got it. I'm imagining McFaloni as innocent. Great, hold that. Now, we found money on him too, right? You better believe it. We found ten grand. Now, still imagining McFaloney is innocent, how likely is it that he would be carrying that much money? Nobody carries ten grand around in their pocket. Nobody. Like, maybe Rockefeller, but not normal people. Nobody has that amount of money. Not innocent ones, anyway. That's good. Keep going. What's the probability? I have to say, it's really unlikely. An innocent person on the street with ten big ones in their pocket? I've only seen that once or twice in my whole life. It's got to be really rare. Give me a probability, detective. A probability, a number from zero to one hundred. All right, all right. One percent. One percent probability. That low? Of course it's low. The probability of an innocent person walking around with ten thousand dollars in their pocket. Very low. You've done a great job here, Tufkowski. You can stop imagining now. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Alright, look at this. This whole board is assuming they're innocent. Yeah, this is innocent, Bill. I remember. Now, look at Shifty's mark. It's way up there. What does that mean? It means that if he's innocent, which I do not believe, that there is a high likelihood, I mean probability, that he would be walking around with that amount of money in his pocket. Exactly. 
Now look at McFaloney's mark. It's very low. And what does that tell us? It's a very different mark that even if he was innocent, innocent, then there's a very low probability that he would be walking around with the kind of money on him that we found. Exactly. A very low probability. Probability? Words. Yeah, real low. These kinds of probabilities, they have a name. P-value. P stands for probability. Shifty has a high P-value. McFaloney has a low P-value. Fine. Shifty's P-value is 80% and McFaloney's P-value is 1%. Why do we have to say P-value? I don't know. It's just a thing. Now, this is America, right? Damn right, Captain. Damn right. In America, we have to keep two possibilities in mind in the justice system. Two? Yes, two. Possibility number one. The suspect is guilty. I'm with you so far. Possibility number two is that the suspect is innocent. There you go again, twisting my head! You can do this, <sighs> detective. Possibility number two. The Ooh. idea that the suspect is innocent has another name. Wait, this gets a special name too? Innocence has a special name. Innocence isn't something. It's a lack of something. It's a lack of crime. It's a nothing. Nothing has a special name. It's nothing to see here. That has a special name? Yes. It's called the null hypothesis. Null what now? Null means nothing. Nada. Zilch. Okay, I'm with you so far, but what about the other part, the, the hypothesis something? Hypothesis. It's uh, an idea, a way of imagining something. Oh, so when you had me hurt my entire brain to imagine that these lowlifes were innocent, you were making me imagine the, the null hypothesis? Exactly. Now, think about Shifty. Ah, oh, do I have to imagine him innocent again? Buck up, detective. Look at the board. Okay. Shifty's got a really high p-value, right? Yeah, it's pretty high. So what does that mean if the null hypothesis is true? You said you weren't gonna make me do this. Stay with me, detective, just a little longer. If the null hypothesis, the innocence view, is the real situation, then is Shifty's story about the money likely? Does it make sense? That's a pretty high p-value, and it's based on that innocence null thingy, so I guess it does. If Shifty is actually innocent... If the null hypothesis is true... If the null hypothesis is true, then yeah, Shifty's story holds up pretty good. It seems pretty likely. Now comes the fun part. Think about the innocent situation, the null hypothesis, for McFaloney. Ah, oh, Captain, my head hurts so bad. I promise this one will make you smile. Now look here. How does McFaloney look in the null hypothesis? Okay, in this innocent situation, in this null hypothesis, he's got a very low p-value. And that means? If he's innocent, it would be very unlikely that he would be carrying all that cash. Keep going, detective. I see it now. If the null hypothesis is what's really going on, if he's, if he's innocent, then he would have a really hard time explaining why he's carrying all that cash. It's very unprobable. It's literally unbelievable. Now you're making me proud, son. My head is hurting. I can barely stand up. And I still want to send McFaloney to the district attorney. I want to throw the book at him. Why is that? Because he's got a freaking low... P value. And what does that mean? That means that that, that that 10 grand in his pocket is very unlikely if the null hypothesis is true. So what have you decided? That I don't believe the null hypothesis for him. I do not believe that he is innocent. Now this is very important. Do you know that McFaloney robbed Blinginis? Of course I don't know. We don't have any fingerprints. I wasn't there across the street watching him. I don't know for sure. But you still like him for the crime. Captain, 
I think I finally see why your job is so hard. I don't know, but I still have to make a decision. And I'm deciding that McFaloney is guilty. Because all that money in his pockets gives him a very low p-value. Very low. Detective, I think you're gonna be all right.